Coming to you live from PRS View Studios, this is your Plastic Surgery Minute. Great, so we're very lucky to have uh, three breast reconstruction plastic surgeons, uh, Amy Colwell from Boston, we've got John, uh, John Kim from Chicago, and Joseph Dieter from New York. Uh, it's breast, uh, Recon breast Cancer Awareness Month in October, uh, and you're all guest editors on a special issue uh, dealing with breast reconstruction. Um, could I perhaps ask you to uh, tell us about an update that you're aware of in uh, breast reconstruction at the moment? Yeah, so I think uh, in the field of prosthetic or implant-based reconstruction, we've got uh, really new technologies and techniques that are really improving patient outcomes. And two of those major new technique platforms are fat grafting yeah. and prepectoral breast reconstruction. So with fat grafting, we essentially uh, take fat from other parts of the body, typically from unwanted donor areas such as the abdomen and thighs, and then we'll do some simple processing and inject them into the uh, breast skin envelope. And what that helps uh, patients to accomplish is a, a thicker, softer, more natural and full appearance. So that can ameliorate some of the kind of the firmness and the hardness that's been associated with implant-based reconstruction. And the second advanced uh, prepectoral reconstruction, I think uh, the idea is instead of going under the muscle, which is what we've traditionally done with implants, in select cases where uh, the flaps, the mastectomy flaps are thick enough, we can go over the muscle. And the benefit to the patient is there's um, less pain, potentially less of a problem functionally with uh, what we call animation deformity or movement deformity, um, and that we may be able to maintain the same nice aesthetic outcomes. Fantastic. And Joseph, can I ask you the same question? Sure. Could you give us uh, uh, some inside information on some recent, uh, recent update? Absolutely. When patients uh, may not be a candidate for using a breast implant or if they've had radiation and an implant may not be the best thing, you can use tissue from your body. We've known about that for a while and traditionally the abdomen has been the best source for it, but not everybody's a candidate. They don't have enough, they've had prior surgery, um, and there's new donor sites where you can get tissue from the thighs, the outer thighs, the inner thighs, you can get it from the buttock. So there's lots of options that may not be the traditional ones, but are good ones for, for our patients. Fantastic. And if I could uh, finish with you, Amy, uh, what else should the public know about breast reconstruction? Yeah, you know, uh, I think the good news for women who are undergoing a mastectomy and reconstruction is that now, more than ever before, we're able to create a breast that appears very similar to, or even in some cases, is better than their natural breast. That's fantastic news. Thank you so much, all of you. Thank you. Thank you.